Welcome back guys to a new episode of Master in Programming. Now in this episode, I'll be showing you how we can integrate a storyboard just like you can see now that fully has a view controller and Swift files and everything inside of our Swift UI file. I'll also show you how you can add things to that. So not just present it in a Swift UI view, but actually embed it and like create it and move from different views and so on. So it's going to be very easy. Now, as you can see, I already have prepared a storyboard Xcode project and a Swift UI Xcode project. And the first thing that we need to do is just go over here. Now we can see that we've got a view controller file, but before we can actually move things to the Swift UI file, what we need to do is we need to first click on view control, click on the storyboard here, then click on where it has this ID icon, go to storyboard ID and let's just give it an ID so we can know how to refer back to it. So I'm just going to call it home like this and make sure you know exactly how you call it. I called it home just like this. Beautiful. So I'm just going to save this. And now what I'll do is I'll actually minimize this. Uh, we don't need that for now. And I'll bring the Swift UI project over here. And just to make things cleaner, I'm going to create a new folder. Oh, sorry. It was meant to be a folder. So I'm just going to click on right click here and I'll go to a new group and I'll just say storyboard files. There we go. And I'll click on save. Now what I'll do now is actually just highlight and I want to make sure that this actually appears. So let's just minimize this. I'm going to highlight main storyboard and also highlight view controller. And then I'm going to drag and drop inside of storyboard files, just like this. I'll make sure copy items if needed is done and create folder reference as well. And I'll click on finish. There we go. So now they're added over here. So what I'll do now is I'll just dismiss this from now because we don't need it. And now we have our project, our SwiftUI project now maintains or has our main storyboard, uh, storyboard and our view controller. So just to make sure that they are connected still, we can click on main storyboard. And we can see here that the UI still looks the same. It's just very basic. But over here, let's just click on here we can see that the storyboard ID got removed. So let's once again type it in as home, just like this. And we can also see that it is already connected to view controller. It's just a nice thing to always revise that everything is still connected. We can see that our button is also still connected. And if you're doing this, you probably already know what I'm talking about. So now what we need to do is we need to go to our content view, which is just a Swift UI file. And the first thing we will do is import UI get. And then we're going to go at the bottom here and we're going to create a struct. And we can call it anything. So I'm just going to call it storyboard view. And I'm going to put two columns and I'll say UI view controller representable, just like this. I'll open and close a zigzaggy bracket. And then inside of here, we're going to have two different functions. The first one will be func make UI view controller and I'll open the bracket inside of here I'll put context and we'll put context again with a capital C this time we'll put an arrow and we are actually returning a view a UI view controller just like this I'm going to open and close another zigzaggy bracket to close my function and then inside of here I'll say let storyboard equal to UI storyboard name. And this can be tricky. So for the name, you just want to put the name of your storyboard. So over here, it's main. So I'm going to go over here for name, and I'm also going to put name. For the bundle, we just need to say bundle dot main as well. So after that, we need to identify the controller. So we're going to say let controller equal to storyboard dot instantiate view so we're creating a copy of that view and for the identifier you're simply going to be putting the same identifier that you place for the storyboard so just a reminder if we go here this is the identifier storyboard id storyboard identifier let's go back and we're just going to pass it here home um, and then finally we just need to return that controller so i'll say return controller after that what we need to create now is just one other view and it will just say func update UI view controller. 
Um, for this one, we're just going to swap it with UI view controller. For the context, it will be context and we just need to empty the view. Let's just see what this will do. Um, honestly, I'm not too sure why I did that. It never did that when I used to do it, but maybe it's a new update. So anyways, to continue, what we need to do now is actually embed this inside of our view. So all we need to do now, and honestly, it's that simple, is we can come over here and we can simply say storyboard view. Open and close the bracket, dot edges ignore safe area, and that will just allow us to stretch this view. And now, if I run this, it will actually present that storyboard inside of our Swift UI project. And I'll just run it to show you that it works, and then I'll actually add things, Swift UI elements, to this just to even prove the point. All right, so now that it's actually running on my phone, you can see that I've got it here, and it did manage to actually show. But let's real quick check if it's actually going to do action. So the only thing we expected from this is that it just, and let's just make more space, is so that it just prints this. So if I click on that, yep, it is working. Beautiful. So we know that this solution actually does work. So what's left now? Well, the first thing I want to show you is that if we go to content view, we can completely integrate this within uh, Swift UI. For example, we can create a Z stack, just like that. We can place our storyboard on the root at the bottom. And then we can even add elements on top of this that do their own thing. For example, um, I can add a V stack just like this, add a spacer at the top, and then add a button. And for now, just to make things simple, this button will say Swift. UI button and all it will do is that we just want it to print this is a Swift UI button and now if I print this uh, sorry if I run this what should happen is that you can see that we've got now two different buttons the button at the bottom which is actually built on Swift UI and the button at the back and the best thing is that we can easily interact between them so I can and I'll just sh show you I can click on the top one to print, wow, this is storyboard. And I can click at the bottom one to say, this is a Swift UI button. So this is very cool because we can interact with a storyboard and Swift UI at the exact same time. If you like this video and if you learned something from it, please do make sure you leave a like and a subscribe. It does mean a lot to me and it does help me a lot as well. Thank you and I hope to see you in the next episode.